Hello everyone, welcome to this workout. This workout is a recovery routine for diastasis recti. If you um, just put to bed and you have diastasis recti, which is like a, a, a space between your abdomen, okay? So this would help to strengthen your core and also restore, help the healing process. Yeah, so let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the warm up. So come onto the tabletop on all fours and breathe in, round your back, breathe out, back to neutral. So I don't want you sinking, just come back to neutral. So breathe in, round your back, breathe out, back to neutral position, okay? That's the movement. All right, so let's do a couple more in, out in out nice all right so we're still warming up our core and now we're going to do some extensions just extend your arm your leg you pause for two seconds and then you come back okay one two back to all fours nice one two back to all fours nice keep going one two back to all fours nice one two back to all fours nice couple more nice that's good that's one on this side Back to all fours. All right, so then the last uh, warm up we're going to do come up, come off your knees, okay, into like a bear squat. Up, you hold for one, two, and then you drop. Lift up, one, two, drop. All right, up again. Up, hold for one, two, drop. Nice, couple more. Up, hold, one, two drop nice last one up one two drop nice all right so we're going to take a breather before we get into the routine so one of the most important things to um, remember when it comes to exercises to do to restore and to recover if you have diastasis recti or recti whichever one they call it is to avoid exercises that put a lot of strain like all the crunching movements that you do on your back you want to avoid those exercises and do exercises that um, strengthen the core without exactly putting a, uh, a strain on your abdominal muscles okay so I think these are the things that are really important to, no to note okay so now um, we're gonna start with planks we're gonna start with our plank series okay so come up into a full plank right nice and what i want you to do is lift one leg after another so up hold for two and then drop nice up hold for two and then drop nice up one two 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 drop nice we want to take this movement to the next level just come into a forearm plank and then you're gonna feel it more so this is the, an advanced version keep going up one two drop nice up one two drop nice couple more up one two drop nice up one two drop nice so um in case i didn't mention it before when you're planking whether it's on your forearms or on your palms 
make sure that you maintain a neutral spine so i don't want to see something like this like this when you come down into a forearm plank the same rule applies okay all right nice all right so the next movement you're doing is forearm plank to full plank nice so the trick with this movement is to keep your abdominal muscles your core as firm as sturdy as possible as you go down so i don't want to see this i don't want to see this okay so keep it firm then just drop down and down and then come up and come up nice down and down and then come up then come up nice keep going down down up nice couple more down down up up nice nice last one down down up and up Oof. nice coming into forearm plank position okay so for um the simplified version just stay like this and count to 30 for about 30 seconds okay so let's go one two three four to make it more interesting um if this is actually too difficult for you you could just open your legs wide and that will give you more of a balance and then it'll make it even more simplified okay more advanced take your hand put it here and then back okay nice then back nice take that arm Ooh. nice Ooh. just lifting one arm off the floor adds more of a challenge to your core nice let's go Ooh. nice Ooh. nice that is i hope that was 30 seconds in my head i think that it is um i don't know what the situation will be like for the clock because i'm not actually timing but please time that movement and make sure you get that plank holds for a minimum of 30 seconds we're still doing planks but now we're moving on to side planks okay so um come on your side right and you come up like this okay that's for the more advanced for the simplified version you come up on your knee okay, i'm gonna show you what that looks like nice like this so what i want you to do so spend your legs okay stretch out your arms and i want you to go in and then come back out nice keep that leg elevated in and out nice keep going in and out nice couple more in and out nice last one in and out nice rest for about 10 seconds and then we're going to add a little bit more intensity um to that particular movement okay nice so back to those side planks <laughs> now we're going to do the side crunch so now i don't want you to crunch all the way no just mount okay half crunches two three nice four nice five nice okay so now make sure that your core is engaged throughout that movement all right so now we're going to repeat all the things that we did on the other side okay let's go Uh, I'm going to do the advanced version on this side 
but obviously if you're not there yet and you want to do the simplify feel free to get on your knee okay so for more advanced come up put this in the air and let's go in Woo! sorry i lost my balance there for a second and out again in and out nice keep going three Woo! out keep your core tight nice Ooh. couple more in in out last one in and out Woo. that was crazy oh my gosh <sighs> okay so we're just taking a breather for a few seconds then we're going to get back into it all right we're back so again <laughs> i'm doing the modified so come up and let's go partial crunch one nice nice two keep that feet elevated throughout three nice let's go four and five Woo! what that was crazy that was hard even for me all right so moving on we're done with the, our plank series and now we're going to do some thrust series and some abdominal exercises on our back that eliminates the tedious crunch tedious crunches okay all right so definitely lie down on your back nice and um make sure i don't know if you can see me from this angle but make sure that your your feet are shoulder width apart there's some space you know between your feet you bring your legs in not like this all the way in okay and put your arms flat on the floor and i want you to thrust nice when you thrust you hold one two down tap up one two down tap three nice one two down tap up four one two down tap up five one two down nice five more let's go down tap up hold for two seconds and drop nice up hold for two seconds and drop nice i don't know what number we're, we're at I'm just gonna call that eight nice two more up one two and down kiss up one two and down so um one important thing to note while you're doing this exercises is don't half ass it don't just come up here i want you to come all the way like thrust push okay and then squeeze your glutes while you're doing that okay yeah nice so now now that you're used to the movement you're into the movement i'm going to add a little bit more intensity or progression to that movement okay all right so come up stretch your leg out pick it up down in down up same leg stay on one leg nice nice Ooh, keep going nice switch legs that's one nice I think we did like five or six the first leg that's two nice stretch lift it's three that's four that's five 
Nice. Whew. Okay, let's get one more. I thought we need to leave one more. <laughs> and that's it. Okay, so the next movement, stretch out both legs. <laughs> this is gonna be tough, but we can do it, right? All right, so take your legs all the way here and then down. That's one. Nice. Up. Keep your back and your head flat on the floor. You're just moving this part of your body, okay? Down. Woo. Nice. Up. Woo. Down. Nice. Up. Woo. Down. Nice. Up. Nice. Down. Couple more. Up. Down. Last one. Up. Down. Nice. Woo. That was crazy. All right. So the last movement we're going to do is an ab hold. Oh, we're going to make it interesting and, and add some flutters with our arms. Okay. So get this all the way up into I don't know what 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 sign does that mean because obviously it's not a tabletop this would be a tabletop but this is like you know whatever angle that is just get your leg there Whew, I need a second let's take five seconds okay four breathe in breathe out three breathe in breathe out two breathe in breathe out last one one bring your legs up this way lift definitely lift your head and your upper back from the floor stretch your arms like so and now let's hold so suck in your stomach as much as you can and now let's go one oh definitely bring this out a little bit so that you can feel the pressure in your lower stomach if it's like this you won't feel so much of the pressure but you bring it this way and now you have the pressure let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Woo! nice so now obviously if you cannot put your feet uh in that angle or in that position feel free to leave it here okay if that will be easier for you all right so now we're going to do that one more time okay so put this here and let's go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten nice okay so we are done with this workout we're going into the cool down now one thing that i want you to know um, as you do this movement is i basically i'm showing you what the routine and timing or reps would be for someone that is a beginner if you want to make this workout more challenging for you um, feel free to add more reps add more time you know you could repeat this entire routine as many times as you like to really give that um you know what i mean okay to to get the most out of it for the level that you're in basically so uh yes yeah, so let's get into the cool down so i want you to kneel down Oof. <sighs> nice um come into like a kneeling position make sure that your your feet is a little bit wide so this is how you are lift your hands up and then lean back as much as you can and then back to standing nice let's go one more time Ooh. let's go last one Ooh, nice so now we're doing the same movement 
but in a different way so this time around i want you to reach back reach back nice the other side reach back nice reach back nice so now when you're leaning back i don't want to see this i don't want you to do this no everything is stiff you're going back like this okay that's it all right couple more like this nice the other side like this so you don't have to go all the way back if you're not there yet flexibly i'm not a very flexible person i know a lot of people that can bend all the way back i cannot do that yet um i don't think i would ever be able to do that because i'm working on my flexibility for quite a, some time now and it's not budging anyway i say this to say that it's okay if you don't go all the way at your level it's gonna hurt so you don't have to have gotten all the way down to the floor before you know that you actually did some work you're still gonna feel it where you need to feel it okay all right so let's do some chaturangas and then we're gonna finish off with a child pose all right let's go um lie down flat on your stomach bring your hands in like this all the way back okay and then up Oof. square out your shoulders don't let your neck sink in square it out okay tight your butt suck in your butt like this okay and then obviously yeah just hang there and then drop down gently nice okay one more time up okay nice now from there see how i did i was here so you just have to come like this and up into it now you're not moving just up into a down dog nice nice okay drop down and now we're going to do a child pose now i like to do my child pose from reverse and that's why i call it the reverse child pose because I, I don't know just i just like to do it because i think i get a deeper um stretch when i do it that way so open your knees very wide i don't know if you can see me but as wide as you can right and make sure that your toes at the back are touching and your knees wide open so sit back into that let's take a couple breaths one more breath now i want you to fold forward so don't let your butt get up from your legs just fold forward like that that's how i like to do my child pose so keep stretching forward keep stretching forward so you're reaching for something and you're conscious about sitting back into you know you're conscious about sitting back and you're stretching forward and it just feels so good Ooh, nice Ooh. hang in there a couple more seconds and that's it we're done um this is i hope that it qualifies as a, a beginner's workout trust me i tried as much as possible to make sure that these um, movements are not very difficult they're not very um yeah so give these a try and if you want to add more intensity you know how to do that make sure to try the advanced versions add more time add more reps and trust me it will be a killer and thank you very much for joining me in this workout and i'll see you on the next thank you